Hi Trevor, this is Rebecca with your assignment to Creepshow Critique, and you did a fantastic job on this super creepy narrative. It's so original. I love all the photography. I am so happy with this. I'm going to zoom in so we can talk about the first image together. This is very nice. Very nice. Um, I like that you have to kind of hunt for the clues visually. This is a really great picture too. This path just taking you back into these creepy woods and all, with all this junk everywhere. It's just fantastic, you know. Um, at first your eye goes straight to this sign um, and then you're kind of looking around and then you see this and it's just nice, a little cherry on top. Uh, same with this one, you know, once you see that in the first image, you know that you've got to hunt for it in the other images. Um, the only thing about this one is that the deer feels a little like it's floating. Um, I'd like to see some shadowing underneath the deer so it feels a little bit more grounded. Um, but this is a really great image, and this is not cool. I mean, it's cool, but it's like creepy. So great work. <laughs> exactly. Nice and scary. Okay, over here on this last image, um, same thing. You know, you're searching already for the clues, but the blood is like a little bit fresher on this one. It's a little bit brighter. And then you see that the camera is destroyed on the ground, and then you see this hand coming out. So the only thing is this figure, from how tall it is against this tree, it seems like it's kind of short, like a little, a little creepy guy. But then this hand coming out is gigantic. So I don't know if you want to, you know, reconsider like your positioning for this guy. Maybe he could be back over here, something like that. I don't, I know that you want to make it not too obvious. Um, and over here is, is a very not obvious place. I didn't even see that there the first time. Um, but just proportionately, you know, they're, they're both a little bit off. And maybe they're not the same thing. You know what I mean? Maybe there are two different, you know, evil entities coming to get you. But I just wanted to bring that to your attention. The only other thing is that the resolution of this camera appears to be pretty high um, compared to the image in the background it's um, so if you could kind of blur it a little bit and add a little bit of grain I think that it would make it look more like it's part of the image um, right now it feels like it's another image put on this image so that's just something else to keep in mind I'm being nitpicky with you because everything else is so good um, I got to give you some more to improve, right? <laughs> Just joking. So anywho, um, yeah, keep up the fantastic ideas and all of this fantastic experimenting and just really great storytelling.